Good morning, folks. This is Brother Brad on a beautiful Sunday morning, sitting on the side of the creek this morning, listening to the cicadas as they sing the song that God's given them. And we thank the Lord for his great creation and, and the blessings of this life. Uh, as much as I long to go home, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy the life that God's given me. As we dwell back into the 20th uh, Shepherd's look at the 23rd Psalm and, Psalm, and we talked a little bit last week about He restoreth my soul and the uh, Psalms 51. But this morning, I, I, I wanted to go and touch on a, something else here. Um, Brother Keller in his book on, on the uh, Shepherd's look at the 23rd Psalm talks about the sheep that get cast down. Uh, sometimes a sheep uh, will, will get on its back. And it, it, once its feet uh, lose contact with the ground, that sheep will lay there and, and die. There's, uh, it can't get itself upright, and it's, 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 uh, it, it's called cast, and, and sheep become cast down. And, I, and sometimes we as Christians can get cast down and get, <clears throat> and get, uh, get, get in, a, in a bad spot. Uh, the psalmist said this, he said, Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember uh, thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hananites and from the hill miser. Uh, sometimes we get in a situation where, we, where, where our soul is cast down and, and we're, we're, we find ourselves in a, in a situation that we're, we're stuck in a place and we can't get out. Uh, there are three reasons we see that, uh, that sheep become cast down, and there's a spiritual application. Uh, the first, the first we can look at is a sheep uh, may just lay down in a low, pl a low place, and may just get in, in, in a, lay down in a hole and and get in a, in, a, in a bad spot. And you know, sometimes we we as we as Christians we get lazy a little bit. We'll we'll quit reading our Bible as much as we used to, and we'll quit praying. Uh, like we should and and we'll keep seeking we'll quit seeking God or like we should and we'll start uh to to waver in our church attendance and we'll start to waver in our service and our work and and if we're not careful we'll get cast down and we'll get ourselves in a place where uh we we're, we're we're useless and we we can't be used by God and and that's a danger for all of us so we all should be diligent uh because there is that one that would discourage us, and there is that one that would try to to get us uh, in a in a place where we don't need to be. Uh, we also see that a, a sheep can get cast down uh, when uh, it gets uh, its wool gets too heavy, or, or it gets full of mud, and it gets full of sticks, and it gets full of uh, uh, debris. And when it lays down, the weight of that carries it down, and it it can't it gets uh, off the feet off the ground, and it can't get back up. And and I thought about this: we sometimes, as, as Christians, we get so caught up in the things of this world. Uh, the sower of the seed talks about it, he that that received, but then the, but then the cares of this world and the deceitful of riches, the, the deceitfulness of riches. Uh, gets them entangled and, and, and they get caught up in those things. And man, we got to be real careful. Uh, we get ourselves in such a financial bind because we got to have that new car and we got to have that new house and, and that big, great big house. God help us. Uh, we, we have to have the things of this world and we get caught up in, in the sports for the kids and we get caught up in all the things of this world. Uh, uh, Satan does a real good job of keeping us busy and keeping us uh, focused on other things and sometimes we'll get so caught up in all that. We'll get so burdened by all those things of this world that, that we, we, we get ourselves in a place where, where we're in a, a cast down and, and we're not on fire for God and we, and we lose our, 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 our diligence and we lose our, our service. And, and, and eventually if, 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 if you don't get that straightened out, you will, we'll find ourselves uh, dying spiritually. Um, God help us. I've been in that situation where, where the, uh, I was so busy and it made up, I was so busy just trying to make a living and so busy just trying to provide for the family that, that sometimes we get caught up in the spirit, we, we lose sight of the, the goal, and we lose sight of what's really important. And God help us to, to find that. Uh, not only do we see them cast down, we also see that they might be cast down uh, 
because they get too fat. Amen. They eat too much. Uh, God help us. We're living in a world and we get so caught up and in, in looking and we're so bombarded by the things we see, by the, by the words we hear, by the things we hear uh, that, are, that are carnal, the, the carnal things of this world that attack us from every side. The, the, uh, even, I mean, we're, we're, men were faced by nudity on, on every front. Uh, women were faced by uh, uh, the idea that uh, on our televisions that men are men are weak and men are men. We just we're stereotyped by all these things, and, and it, it'll ca get us in a situation where we can be cast down. And, and God help us not to be caught up in the things of this world. It, it's so hard uh, because it's all around us. We're we're exposed to it by on every front and on every. On every side, uh, every minute of every day, it seems like we're bombarded by the things of this world. And if we're not careful, we'll let those things uh, uh, catch our eye. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, uh, the pride of life. We'll let these things get us in a situation where, where we're cast down. And so we got to be uh, very wary of those things and, and do our best to to close our eyes and to close our ears to the things of this world and open our ears and open our eyes to the things of God. Um, but one thing about it, that, that sheep that's cast down, when he cries out, see, because the shepherd's always looking for the buzzards. He's always looking because when the sheep, uh, and, and when the sheep gets cast down and it can't get up and it's crying out and it, it finds itself in a bad situation, oh, the, 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 uh, the, the, those that would do it harm uh, are about, and, and the buzzards are about, and they're looking for a free meal, and 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 those uh, and and it, but but can I tell you that the shepherd is always listening for the sheep, and the shepherd always knows when one of the sheep is missing, and when one of the sheep is in trouble, the shepherd's always looking for the sheep, and the shepherd's always searching for that lost one, and that one that's in trouble. And Job wrote this. He said, "When men are cast down, then shalt they, then thou shalt say, there is a lifting up, and he shall save the humble person." Can I tell you when we find ourselves in that hole, when we find ourselves in that bad spot, when we find ourselves burdened by this world, and we find ourselves bombarded by the things of this world, and we find ourselves uh, not studying and reading and, and and praying like we should? Hey, if we'll just call out to Jesus, and we'll call out to our Savior. Can I tell you that the shepherd will come looking and he'll pick us up and he'll set us back on our feet and he'll he'll uh, massage us and rub us until we got strength to stand on our own again and to stand in his strength and in his power. Hey, can I tell you that there's a good shepherd out there and he loves his sheep, but you, we, when you cast down, just call on him and everything will be all right. This is Brother Brad. Occupy till he comes. And can I tell you, he's coming soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.